Hello, my name is Sarah Young, and welcome to the Republic of Panama. Our journey begins in Panama City, a diverse, multicultural city with a population of almost one million. Casco Viejo, or the historic district of the city, illustrates the French and Spanish architectural influences. Nearby are the ruins of the convent of Santo Domingo, originally built in the 17th century. An interesting item that remains is the flat arch that survived the fire, which indicates Panama's lack of major seismic activity, which was a contributing factor to building the canal in this area. Also nearby at the church of San Jose is the golden altar, once painted black so that it would not be looted by pirates. Building of the Panama Canal is a saga of engineering ingenuity, hardship, and courage. France began the initial work on the canal in 1881, but stopped work due to engineering problems and a high worker mortality rate. After receiving perpetual rights to the canal zone, the canal was completed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in 1914. The canal allows ships to sail between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, eliminating about 8,000 miles of travel by not having to go around the tip of South America. More than 75,000 people worked on the building of the canal. However, almost 6,000 died from disease or accidents. In 1999, the United States transferred control of the canal to the Republic of Panama. Income from the canal generates fully one-third of Panama's entire economy. Tolls charged to some of the largest ships can exceed $450,000 per crossing. This interoceanic waterway uses a system of locks that operate as water elevators raising ships 85 feet above sea level to the level of Gatun Lake. The river Chagres was dammed to create the Gatun Lake, which forms a major part of the transit route between the locks near each end of the canal. On the other side, locks then lower the ships back to sea level. Over one million ships have passed through the canal. Maintenance and expense of the canal is never-ending, from the $5 million tugboats to the 24-hour-a-day dredging operations. However, the country of Panama is much more than the Panama Canal. It is rich in history, It is also a nation of incredible natural beauty, such as Toboga Island, the Island of Flowers. Recovering from illnesses as a laborer on the Panama Canal, the artist Paul Gauguin immersed himself in the beauty of the Island of Flowers. And Panama is also a country of its own native-born artists. For example, those that create dolls expressing admiration or loathing. The dolls are then burned to exercise all of the bad moments of the year. Cutaras are hand-woven, durable, and rugged sandals.
designers in Las Tablas are known for their carnival creation. Known for the same revelry and abandon as in Rio or New Orleans, carnival in Panama begins four days before Ash Wednesday. Costumes designed for competing carnival queens are intricate works of art. The Polera is a lavish embroidered dress introduced by the Spanish but now considered the national costume of Panama. Panama has a long tradition of folkloric dance and music practiced by all generations. Traveling briefly by ox cart, we visit this distillery which produces more than one million cases of rum, gin, and seco from approximately 50,000 tons of sugarcane. Other edible art is created by this family-owned business producing traditional sweets. The Calderon Pottery, another family business, sells traditional painted ceramics made on the premises with the help of a foot-powered potter's wheel. Hand sculpting a mask is the first step in creating the Devil Dancer's costume. The dance represents the battle between good and evil. It also represents the Roman Catholic Church scaring non-believers into conformity. Molas are colorful fabric appliques. This is the true Panamanian hat. It is braided and not woven. How it is worn denotes certain cultural meanings. Other art forms include the creation of intricate jewelry reflecting Panama's ancient civilizations. Further afield is a visit to the Embarra village, one of Panama's seven indigenous peoples. Traditional dance includes the music of flutes, drums, and turtle shells. Skilled artisans of the village produce beautiful sculptures, baskets, as well as exquisite beaded jewelry. Panama is the home to over 1,000 bird species. There are more bird species in Panama than there are in all of North America. Although smaller, than the state of South Carolina, Panama has more natural diversity than most countries. There are over 1,500 different types of animals. The jungle canopy is home to sloths, capuchins, and howler monkeys.
And the beauty of the flora is amazing. Panama is home to more than 10,000 varieties of plants. And also, Panama is aware of the Earth's fragility. This park was once a tropical rainforest. The forest was removed and the topsoil eroded. Biodiversity is celebrated at the Museum of Biodiversity designed by Frank Geary and backed by the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute and the University of Panama. It is dedicated to the study of the land and marine habitats in Panama. Panama, it is indeed a destination with complexity, a combination of a turbulent history, brisk commerce, spectacular art, Latin culture, and incredible nature. Mm -hmm.